So how will the judges punctuate the drama? Well, here's a preview. Harold Letterman scorecard. How'd you have it, Harold? Jim, 114, 113. I caught save. Seven rounds to five. Jim, I thought Oscar needed three points to even it out. I would have given him two. Great job by Mitch Halper not stopping it. I'll tell you, it was a heck of a fight. Very close. I just thought I caught Tay had too big a lead going into the last round, and I just don't think Oscar did enough to pull it out. And Michael Buffer has the official decision. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the Budweiser scorecards, how about a round of applause for the best welterweight fight seen in Las Vegas since Hearns and Leonard. We now go to the Budweiser scorecards. Larry O'Connell scores the bout, 115 to 114. He scores it for Corte. John Keane scores the bout. 116 to 113. He has it for De La Hoya. Ken Marita scores the bout. 116 to 112 for the winner by split decision. And still the undefeated WBC welterweight champion of the world. The Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya. A split decision victory for De La Hoya. We'll have more on the judges' scorecards in just a moment. But right now, let's look back at highlights of this brilliant brilliant 147 pound war the action heated up in round number six when first Quarte went down on a classic left hook by De La Hoya. and then moments later as De La Hoya tried to press what he believed was his advantage Quarte with a counter left of his own and Oscar was down in the next few rounds Quarte was able to seemingly take the lead in the fight with his big right hand that forced swelling in Oscar De La Hoya's left eye and twice wobbled the champion. But then in the 12th round, high drama, as a De La Hoya seemingly desperately in need of a knockout, fired that left hook to open the round and put Quarte on the seat of his pants. And then, shades of 17 and a half years ago, like Ray Leonard against Tommy Hearns, De La Hoya pressed Quarte against the ropes and pounded and pounded and waited to see if referee Mitch Halpern would step in to stop the fight and give him the victory. But Halpern, correctly noting that Quarte was throwing back the whole time, never did so. As it turns out, it was okay for Oscar anyway, as he gets the split decision. And amazingly, amazingly to me at least, Oscar De La Hoya on the cards of the two judges who scored the bout for him, John Keane and Ken Morita, did not need that big 12th round rally to win the fight. If he only wins the 12th round 10-9, or even if the round is even, he still wins the fight on the cards of Keane and Morita. Astonishing. And right now, Larry Merchant is with the winner and still unbeaten, Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar, Oscar, congratulations. You asked for a dangerous fight. You got one. <laughs> oh, well, I called it from the beginning. I mean, this guy's a very uh, good warrior. I mean, I give him all the credit in the world because I gave him some punches the last round that he wouldn't go down. What surprised you about him? Was it his ability to box better than you thought? Tell us. I think I underestimated his boxing ability. Um, when I would try to rush him, I thought he would stay forward and fight me, but um, he did move some uh, lateral movements, some waist movements. He's a very good fighter. I give him a lot of credit. All right, in this, in this sixth round, you knocked him down. It appeared you were coming on. Did you get a little anxious and walk into a punch? Um, I got a little anxious, yes. I mean, this guy, uh, this guy was a very dangerous fighter. I mean, uh, I was looking for his left jab, his left hook. Came back with the right hand I mean, and caught me clean. In the second half of the fight, for long spells, Oscar, you weren't doing much. You were going after him, going after him. In your corner, they were urging you to do something, yep. at least to impress the judges. Right. What, what happened there? Um, I was a little worried of his uh, punching power. This guy uh, is a very powerful hitter, and um, I know I have to uh, 
it's a big learning lesson because I have to train harder, be more prepared, be aware, not, not, never underestimate my opponents. And uh, this guy's a very tough, tough, worthy opponent. When you went out for the last round, did you think you had to do something dramatic to win the fight? Not dramatic because uh, I knew all along that he was, uh, nobody was really putting the pressure. Um, I was finishing the rounds pretty good. Um, he wasn't uh, connecting me with the goals, those good jabs that he has, but uh, it was just uh, a very uh, it's, it's, intimidating fight for me. But you certainly understood or, or conveyed the idea that there was some great urgency when you out, went out in the 12th oh, round. Of course, for the people, for the fans, for the public. They want to see good action-packed fights. I gave it to him the last round. I dropped him. Almost knocked him out. I had him. Oh my gosh! I'm very. Did you upset get arm? With did you get arm weary? Because he he was hurt, obviously, but he stood in with you, kept throwing punches. No, this guy can take a punch. This guy's a, a real strong hitter. Can take a punch, and I give him all the credit in the world. Finally, this. There's a rematch clause in your contract in case he won. But this was such a great fight, and so many people got pleasure out of it. Do you want to give the public? A rematch of this fight. I don't know. You think it was a great fight, Larry? I don't think so. I don't really think so. There's better and bigger, better fights out there for me. I know that. More exciting fights that the people want to watch. Basically, you're saying you don't want to fight him again. Oh, I'll fight him many times. I mean, uh, you know, as long as the contract is uh, is good, the date, the the weight, everything, the people want to watch it again. Uh, I think people want to watch more exciting fights. Uh, I Corte, uh, uh Sometimes he did fight. Sometimes he didn't. But uh, hey, that's his style. That's my style. And uh, we gave you this fight tonight. Thank you very much for an outstanding fight. Oscar De La Hoya.